Thank you. How are you? How do you? That tastes like medicine, bro. We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. It's just my arms, but what if he's like, yeah, let's take a look at the shoulder, take your shirt off. This is our morning routine. Seamoss, wash it down with a wellness shot. This is turmeric, ginger, and lemon. And I also do a shot of chia seeds each morning as well with a liter of water. And an apple cider vinegar and lemon um, shot as well. An omega-3, chlorophyll, ginkgo, iron, Shatavari. I never know how to pronounce this. Shatavari. Say it. Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. Alpha Max, which is more greens. Multivitamin. Bladderwrack. This is literally so good. Vitamin D. Obviously, we live in Norway. So collagen. This is like a tablet form. Yod. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Jude. Burdock root. And the most important thing that, you know, most people are deficient in this all over the world. This is like the most thing people lack. And it's magnesium and zinc. <laughs> I was gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, 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 fist bump? Yeah. Oh. One, one, two, three, go. Okay. We're gonna work out. She's gonna work out in the gym outside. And I'm gonna do a home gym. You're finished. You're finished. Yeah, we have a personal issue with Messi. I'm not saying deficient we're always certain. She's used to force people to run while they're on it. They change their minds, the vision changes. Don't touch her! Don't! You can still no. save her. But you're gonna have to get away from your friends. You handle that. We're sh Watching Twilight, but listening to it on my phone. And I'm gonna take my ginger shot as like a pre workout. <laughs> That tastes like medicine, bro. Okay, I have a list. started on your back. Anyone, whether you're a beginner or with level one, does not mean easy necessarily. This is still really great ab work. Okay, with your elbows down and extension. Great, right, that's a great place to. So what we're trying to do is just gain some extension in that upper spine. So it's a small motion. And press back into your child's pose. And that was a great job Pilates done all right guys so i just muted the video right here because there's obviously music that i can't have on youtube and stuff for my workout videos my zumba moment and i'm not gonna show you guys because there's yeah gonna be stuff i don't obviously show on youtube so see you for the next step of my workout there's often there's a lot in the sternocleidomastoid which is one of those neck muscles that gets very tight when we end up sitting a lot for this next part, I'm doing my favorite, favorite thing, which is the Wim Hof breathing exercises. In, out, in, out. And I love in. doing this in the sauna when my head is in the cold and my body's in the warm and it just feels so amazing. Allah Mubarak. All right, and now I'm going to do my Sabr app. It's a meditation, but it's not meditation. It's like Islamic words of affirmation that you say to yourself, du'as breathing and stuff like that i like to finish my workout after i do the wim hof breathing exercise which is what i did now um and then i'm gonna do this it's on the sub app it's my favorite app um this isn't sponsored we begin in the name of allah the most merciful the most gracious we are grateful close your eyes start to notice your breath Okay, so that was my workout slash relaxation time. The, like, what I really, really love is sitting here with my head in the, 
like I, I feel the wind and I'm looking at the sky. I feel so close to nature and so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every time I do this because whenever I see anything nature, especially trees, mountains, the sky, which alhamdulillah is my view, it just overwhelms me with how small I am. It's like a form of grounding that I think everyone should have. <sighs> Breathing fresh air and having comforts and being in my own home I feel so blessed alhamdulillah you know there was a time where I was homeless there was a time where I was crying every day there was a time when I was miserable there was a time when I was going through a divorce there was a time when I didn't want to even live anymore there was a time where I was hopeless. There was a time where I didn't believe. There was a time where I didn't know anything. And I thought I knew everything. I was arrogant and lost and miserable. SubhanAllah. So I think that's... Ugh, I don't want to cry. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Stop. I think that's like one of the reasons why I go so hard for the Dean. It's because I know that I'm nothing without it. And my life has no meaning without it. The most important thing to me in this life is my deen. My relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My secrets with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray to be sincere. I pray to be, to never be misled. And I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never gives me anything for the dawah that I give. Because I'm doing it online and I'm afraid that he's going to expose my intentions to myself that I don't even know that I have. That I did it for another reason than for the sake of Allah. And that's why only by Allah's mercy I want to be only in Allah's mercy on the Day of Judgment, not for anything that I've done. Next, we go in with our hyaluronic acid. Here we're just going in with our 10 step skincare routine. This really feels like an at home spa. We even changed the lights to be like ambiance vibey. And it just feels so amazing just to take care of our skin together. And this has become my favorite part of the day. Like, really, I love this part. We just come together and just take care of our skin, yeah. you know? It's just really nice. Yeah, <laughs> If you guys want me to list all the products in the down below, uh, let me know. Basically everything from La Roche Posay and from the Ordinary and the Snail Mucin Cream and um, Serum. Basically, that's it. Here are the products. Screenshot it right now. My skincare routine used to be just, I used to use African black soap that I got straight from Gambia, so I got the real one. Um, and then I used, yeah, I washed my face with African black soap every day, directly on the skin, and um, like all of my 20s, African black soap, and for a moisturizer, I would mix coconut oil and bio oil and lather my face every morning and every night. And that's it. And like a couple days a week, I would do like this um, scrub face mask. And I would scrub my face with those like scrub gloves. Hello? What? I, I had really good skin though. I have some like um, enlarged pores and acne scars from like when I was a teenager. I had like some breakouts that like I just didn't leave alone. I touched my face, which like if you're a teenager and you're breaking out, do not ever touch your face. Crook! Well, are you a crook?
You are. Now that I'm 30, I was like, I really just, I'm so obsessed with skincare and I really want to use less makeup and feel more like good in my skin. And also, also, I never used foundation until I was, I think, 22 because all of the sudden I developed hyperpigmentation on my skin on my face after I had a psoriasis outbreak. I mean, I was so insecure about my face. I was like, nah. So I started using like makeup, makeup. Before that, I only used concealer under my eyes, which is what I have today. Um, and a little bit of like BB cream, but like nothing heavy. But do y'all see the skin? I love my body. This is like hard work. I promise you. So my husband and I currently have like a 10 step skincare routine, which we've like tried out some products to see what works for us and like we immediately know what we like and what we don't and we see what works and also i got my doctor to prescribe me some tretinoin for my skin and i really like it like i can't wait for me to be able to uh put it on every day i put it on like two times a week now and i do skin cycling but i just i'm so excited to like work my skin up to the phase where i no longer purge which is i do that now i hate it it's so bad i always get it on my chin too it's like one that keeps coming back every time i use tretinoin like the next day it's there so my skin gets really irritated but i got some new like um moisturizers that inshallah will help me with that especially now that it's winter look at this beautiful view we got here in this winter love it and also, yeah, I'm taking some time off work to heal my injury, um, which will be really good. I'm going to, I have an appointment, inshallah, on Monday to have electrolysis. What is it called? Electrolyte? Pulsing or something. Something like Shock that. Wave. Shock waves. Which the um, physical therapist doctor said that it wasn't supposed to hurt, but we'll see. Do you think I have to take my clothes off? No. I'm going to cry. I've seen that man like so many times now. And he's like the like the nicest physical therapist I've been to this far. I just really hope that I don't have to like take anything off because that will ruin our relationship. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just my arms. But what if he's like, yeah, let's take a look at the shoulder. Take your shirt off. We're about to go to the store because we will get some stuff for a really exciting video that we're going to post for you guys. We are heavily into the Caucasian culture of decorating the house for the season. For summer, we had like a full jungle theme in the house. For fall, we had a full candles and leaves and pine cones and pumpkins and all that. And then now for winter... Uh, we want to decorate. It's really hard to find like winter stuff that's not like Christmas decorations. So we've been really, you know, creative because we don't want to obviously like do any Christmas stuff, but we want to do winter stuff. So whatever season's outside, I bring it into my home. And I recently found out that that is the culture of white people. So yeah, if you want to be a white person, just decorate your house for every season. And there you go, white privilege, right there. Boom. And you are a fraudster, you're finished. For this Ramadan, I had nine days to make up. And in Norway, Maghrib is around 3.20 during December, this time of the December. And I just feel so incredibly blessed that I'm able to make up an 18 hour fast in this short amount of time and get rewarded the same. Today is day eight. Inshallah, tomorrow I'm gonna make up the last one. Alhamdulillah, I just feel so blessed that I've been able to make up my fasts without feeling tired or getting headaches or those things that come along with fasting for a lot of hours and this is what we deal with a man's job is to do this while you sit with the seat warmers on in the car my daddy used to do this all the time i married somebody who's like a man like my daddy you know i love my daddy hi baba I'm gonna go to the store now and get some stuff for you guys. We'll show you at home. 
If you want to see the full video on this and all of the decorations that we got for winter, look at my other video that I posted before this. All right, guys, it's finally Maghrib, so we're breaking the fast. Egg, bacon, um, salami, cream cheese, arugula, pickles, orange juice, cafe au lait, water. What do you have? Butter cheese. And Jadwaka u oi ke dupa bila. How about you? Thank you. How about you? I do everything. Everything or nothing. <laughs> thank Ching. you. Thank you for hanging out with us on this vlog. Subscribe. If you like this type of content, please let us know in the comment section. Like this video, comment, share this video. Love you guys. We're back. <laughs> So remember to check out our description box for the links of our Patreon and how to join our family. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching and that was all we had for now. Let us know what more content you guys want down in the comment section. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.